Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you this card. It's really really easy and simple to do. All we're going to be doing is kind of get creating a no line effect by tracing the images from a stamp. So to start with I am going to be using a piece of parchment cardstock. This is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just placing this into my misty. Now I'm not going to be using the whole background from this beautiful delicate floral bed stamp set so that's why I can pop my little magnet at the top. So I'm just going to place this into place just butt it up with that magnet and make sure it's nice and straight before I do shut the lid on my misty, close it up and then it is nicely in place. I'm then going to be using the lightest ink that I could find and this is the vanilla cream from Altenew. You could use the embossing ink if you wanted to or even a maybe the rocky shore or sand dunes as well because we're using a craft colored cardstock and that would work perfectly well too. So once I've inked that up I'm just going to stamp that into place and it's very very light so this is not going to be able to be seen later on. I'm then going to start with my little leaves and the stems and all I'm doing is I'm just taking some pencils. So these are coloured pencils. You could use whichever ones you wanted. I'm using some polychromous ones. I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see it a little bit better. And as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm tracing around the stem, just a quick little line and then just adding in a little bit of detail to the um, end of the leaf, so the base. Where, it, where I think it would be darker, so that's where I have my darkest colour. I'm then going to take a second colour, so this is kind of a medium shade green, green and then I'm just going to colour in the, the middle part of the leaves, and then I am going to take a lighter green, and I'm just going to colour over the whole of that leaf to help blend all of the colours together. As you can see, this is really, really easy to do, and quite simple and also, it doesn't take that much time. You can take as much time about it as you want, but I do find that this way is really quick as well. So as you can see, I'm just going to keep going with that until I have done all of the little leaves and the stems. So I'll just pop a little bit of music on so you, you don't have to hear me waffling on about it and you can see exactly how it's done. So once all have the leaves have been completed, I'm then going to move on to the little flower buds. So again, I'm going to use three different colours on this one. So I'm using blues. I'm going to use a medium, a light and a dark for this. So I'm just going to add a couple of strokes into the centre of the flowers. So where I believe it would be the darkest. So this where is where the base is or where petals overlap each other. So all you can see is I'm just adding little lines. I'm not really colouring it completely, just kind of little lines just to give an emphasis to that bit there. I'm then going to take my lighter colour and I'm just going to take that further in to the flower. And again, it's just small little lines with this one as well. So you can just see it doesn't take that long. Just keep going petal by petal and just adding a little bit of colour here and there. Just go from the base again, from the leaf, of the petal even, sorry. And I'm just going over that dark colour that we do have there and then just adding a couple of lines. Odd numbers, really. <laughs> About five or six, maybe seven and then just going in with the lighter colour. So I'm then going to take an even lighter blue colour and then I'm going to go over the whole petal with this. So I'm kind of tracing around the 
outline of the petal and then coloring it all in. So I'm going over the, the colors of the blues that we've already done before, just so we can blend those colors together a little bit more. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of an orangey yellow color and just add in the center as well. So again, I'll just pop on a little bit of music so you can see how this is getting completed. So once all have the images have been colored in with my pencils, I'm then gonna pop this back into place in my Misty. And I'm gonna take a sentiment from the same stamp set. And I just love all the sentiments in here. They can be used for all different occasions. Now I'm gonna emboss this. So I've added a little bit of anti-static powder down and I'm gonna use some of the all to new embossing ink just to ink that up and then stamp it back into place. Once this is done, I'm gonna remove it from my little Misty and then take a piece of paper or a coffee filter, which I have, which I can then put my embossing powder onto the bits that stamped and then it's gonna be catched as well. So I can pop that back into my pot because you don't use it all. And then I'm gonna heat up the sentiment. So I'm gonna just do this until it's nice and shiny and it's then adhered to my card. I'm then gonna add my card panel onto a card base. I'm just using some glue tape for this. I then decided I wanted a little bit of added extra white just to make that sentiment kind of mix in a little bit better with the card. So I'm just gonna take some of the pure white spray ink from um, Altenew and I'm just gonna splatter that on and I do found that that makes a huge difference to the card. So here is the card complete. I really do hope that you've enjoyed the video and that you like the technique as well. I would really love to see something that you have created using this technique. If you do, please share it. If you don't wanna miss out on any videos that we do upload to the channel, it'd be great if you do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a crafty day. See you really soon, bye-bye.